I can endure all these things through the power of the one who gives me strength. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things. I can do all things. Yeah, I remember I was on, a, I was on my marathon run one time, and, and I was running, and there was this little girl that ran by me, and on the back of her shirt it said, I can do all things. And I said, yes, I remember that verse. I can do all things. And I was running with her, and I could do all things. And, and it's getting further and further away. I can do all things. I can't get past this 12-year-old, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It became the, 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 this, this, this poster for all of us to say, yes, I can do it. But we have to anchor it in the awareness of what it's about, the ups and downs of our souls. This isn't something where we say, oh, okay, I got this. So I go and do all this, and then Christ is just going to bless it. No. The power, we cannot get this mixed up. The power is in the second part of that verse, not the first. The second part informs the first. You don't just do things and then Christ blesses it. The reason you can overcome the ups and the downs, the reason you can get past the insecurities, the the, the clinging things to your body, the reason you can get past really bad hair days, the reason you can do this is not because of that stuff. It's because of Christ It all hinges on this, through him, through the one, through Christ. When we accept Jesus as solution, truly as Savior, Savior of the brokenness that we've had, when we lean on faith, hear this, God sees us through Christ. God sees us through Christ. And if you begin to see you through Christ, this changes everything. Look, I'm not going to lie and say that as a pastor, I'm perfect, and and I never have moments of anxiety or worry about myself, about my ministry, about my parenting, about my social justice, about my faithful walk. I assure you, (laughs) I assure you, there are plenty of times, plenty of times, where I attempt to beat myself up better than anybody else can. I have plenty of near panic attacks and heavy days of feeling just completely frozen, But I can tell you that every single time what pulls me back is not that the problems just go away. It's not that someone says, oh, I like your hair, your beard. It's not because they tell me that I'm the greatest pastor. All those things are great. I love them. But the cure, friends, the cure, the thing that brings me back is re-anchoring myself where my value truly lies where my worth is truly, truly measured. And hear me, this this is intense wrestling. You know what it is to be physically exhausted? You know what that is? You know when you're about to just completely collapse? This is exhausting work to be able to get this right. Intense wrestling, and it's not psychobabble about pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. It's spiritual warfare against the evil that that turns the eyes onto the world and away from the truth that is in life. I have to, we, we all have to stumble through the darkness at times to be able to get through the insecurities that falsely trap us until we can finally see it through Christ. To see that we are valued. To see how we are truly defined. 